Hello, this is Brian with the National Weather Service in Topeka, and this is a hazardous weather briefing produced at 4 p.m. on May 26th of 2013. This briefing details the severe weather potential for the next week, specifically tonight all the way through Friday evening. It does appear that there is also an enhanced severe weather threat on Monday afternoon and evening, although the exact forecast is going to depend on a lot of small features that could change from day to day and a lot of that may be based on what happens during the overnight hours as thunderstorms move through. In the end, it's a pretty complex situation, and you should make sure to stay tuned to the latest forecasts as they come out throughout the week. The potential does exist for all modes of severe weather uh, at any given day. So again, stay tuned to the latest forecast for more information. Now tonight, Sunday night, we don't necessarily expect a lot in the way of severe weather, but there is an outside chance that a complex of thunderstorms will move across the area and may produce some localized damaging winds. This complex of thunderstorms and how it evolves along with another complex expected to move across Nebraska and Iowa is going to greatly impact the severe weather setup for tomorrow afternoon. Currently it appears that a strong cap will be in place for much of the day, but it should weaken by late afternoon, especially along any old boundary that could be put in place from uh, tonight's thunderstorms. Now, if or when storms do develop on Monday afternoon, they should quickly become severe due to the amount of instability and wind shear in the atmosphere. The best chance for initial development appears to be in north central Kansas, perhaps along the Highway 81 corridor. Now this outlook map from the Storm Prediction Center shows a rather large uh, area with a slight risk for severe thunderstorms. But if we zoom in, we can see that there's a focused area uh, with a slightly greater chance for severe weather across north central Kansas and into parts of northeast Kansas. The primary threat appears to be very large hail, specifically in the uh, black hatched area with the dashes. However, there may be a, a window of enhanced tornado potential, especially in the very late afternoon into the early evening hours as the low level wind shear starts to increase. This should transition to a greater wind potential and less hail and tornado potential by late in the evening. So once we get after 9 p.m., uh, it looks like more of a wind event, assuming these thunderstorms can develop in the first place. As we move along into Tuesday afternoon and overnight, it does appear that another round of storms is possible, although once again that thunderstorm potential is going to depend greatly on the location of weak fronts. And the location of those fronts could be uh, adjusted based on thunderstorms from the night before. So it's, a, again, a rather complex forecast, but one where you should keep a heads up, because if thunderstorms do develop during the afternoon and evening hours, uh, they could become severe quite rapidly. The potential for severe thunderstorms is going to continue through the rest of the week, even into Saturday. Uh, it does appear that the severe potential specifically for each day will vary quite a bit based on overnight storms. However, it does look like the greatest potential for a more widespread severe weather will exist from Wednesday night through Friday night, and perhaps focused on uh, Thursday afternoon into Thursday night. Again, all modes of severe weather will be possible, and it does appear that flooding potential will increase by late in the week, especially as we see the potential for multiple rounds of thunderstorms to move through uh, several days in a row. As always, we recommend that you have multiple modes of receiving severe weather information so that you can take the appropriate action when a warning is issued. Again, this is a complex weather situation that may change from day to day, and we encourage you to check back for the latest forecast as it may change quite frequently. Also, feel free to follow the National Weather Service on Facebook or Twitter, or visit our website at www.weather.gov/top.